Hey guys, it's the Fan Without a Face here with another Geeky Jerseys unboxing video. I know it's been a while since I did one of these, but that's mainly because I haven't really seen a lot of uh, jerseys on the website that I've been interested in. And it's just, nah, I just haven't gotten around to it. But, something amazing happened late, earlier this week. A particular jersey that I've had my eye on for a long time was finally re-released. And I got my hands on it the second I knew about it. And here it is right here. Now, I could tell you which one it is, but I think it would be more fun if I just showed you. Also, the name's in the description and the title, so that'd be kind of pointless anyway. So, uh, let's get this over with. I gotta tell you, they did kind of make a newer version of this jersey a little while ago, but I didn't like the design, and so I've been waiting for a long time for this. I gotta admit, I was a little nervous. I thought they'd never do this again because it's a really old design, but I held out hope, and my hope was rewarded. Yep, there it is, folks. The Haddonfield Slashers. This is the original Michael Myers jersey that Geeky Jersey released a long time ago. They released a newer version of the jersey, uh, though that one was that had a very different design and color scheme compared to the first one. Uh, if you go on the website, you'll see what I mean. But let's open this up first, and then I'll explain. <sighs> Very nice, huh? As you can see, be Halloween fit it. Halloween, of course. Orange and black. It's got these nice uh, pumpkin patches. <laughs> Pun. And it's got this really nice Michael Myers design right here. And it's uh, number 78 Myers. Uh, this wasn't a custom jersey. This was just one of their standard ones. But honestly, I'm not that picky about it. So, And I really would have only changed the number. Now, uh, the newer version that you can find on their website is a mixture of orange and blue instead of black. They did the blue because, well, Michael always wears blue coveralls. Now, I can understand that and even respect that a little bit, but it's a movie called Halloween, and it should be orange and black. That, that just makes sense. Those are literally the colors of Halloween, so, yeah. So that's why I waited out for this one. Now, uh, since I got it, let's try it on. And see how it fits. Oh yes. Nice and loose. I like it nice and loose like that. Okay. Okay. Just adjust it a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Looks real nice, doesn't it? Very nice. Very nice. I Now this was probably... This might be the last time... They ever uh, release this because they don't make they for some reason don't make it a habit of re releasing older designs. So, if you want this, you might want to hurry because I doubt they have any left. So, yeah, this is probably going to be the last one I get from Geeky Jerseys at this point. I like their designs, but I don't think there's any other ones they could come up with that I'd like. But so, but otherwise, I'm glad I have this because now I have four slasher jerseys. So, uh, yeah, glad to finally have this, and uh, glad I could share this with you guys. I uh, hope this inspires you to check their website out, because they make some pretty good stuff. Okay, so, this is the Fan Without a Face, signing off.